Main Biology of the Giant Squid The giant squid, though a relatively little understood animal, is a massive creature whose exploits are the stuff of legend. Capable of growing to lengths in excess of 40 feet long, with long tentacles and a fearsome beak, it is a formidable animal that has intrigued and terrified humans for centuries. Many ancient myths and tales, like Norse legends of the Kraken or sailing stories from the Caribbean, describe the terrifying, ship-destroying capabilities of giant squids. These creatures are also steeped in mystery. Until relatively recently, the giant squid had never been observed in its natural habitat. That changed in the early 2000s, when joint effort by a Japanese film crew and a group of marine biologists resulted in the filming of the first ever videos of a live giant squid. However, even with this groundbreaking footage, many questions about the giant squid remain. This video is intended to help introduce new audiences to this incredible animal by examining some of the amazing biology of the giant squid. By the end, the viewer will come to understand that while it is a sea monster, the giant squid is perhaps not so monstrous after all. Anatomy of the Giant Squid The cartilaginous is the giant squid's primary and only kind of endoskeleton. Similar to vertebrates, the endoskeleton provides some support for the muscles in the giant squid. In terrestrial animals, the vertebral column divides the body into distinct regions, the head, the trunk, and the tail. However, the giant squid's body is undivided, entirely flexible. The skeleton is made up of a clear cartilage. This is relatively light and transparent, and represents about 6.4% of the total body mass. The picture below shows the most widely recognized of the over 300 species of cartilaginous fish species. These species, members of the class Chondrichthyes, include the sharks, rays, and skates. These groups are among the oldest surviving vertebrates, estimated to have originated over 370 million years ago. The giant squid's representation of this class of animal and its relation to other species has been a point of interest for many scientists. For example, the eye has a common structure found in vertebrates, but it is much larger in size. There are many species in the giant squid's taxonomic order, Ogopsida, and not all members of this order have the giant squid's unusual eye. A common hypothesis about the giant squid is that the errors in its DNA occur on a slave gene that regulates eye growth. This would allow the animal to have much larger eyes than normal. However, because there are so many species that belong to the same taxonomic order, further research is necessary to establish this link. Such research could provide information on how the genetics of a species can affect not only its appearance, but its capabilities as well. Mysterious Behavior and Habitat in 2004, scientists in Japan took the first images ever of a live giant squid, diving almost 3,000 feet down to take the pictures. It is very rare to actually see a giant squid, and much of what we know about them comes from studying carcasses and pieces that have washed up on beaches. So, why are giant squids so hard to find? What are they doing down deep in the ocean? Many of these questions are still unanswered. But over the years, scientists have started to put the pieces together. The deep ocean is the last unexplored frontier on our planet, and giant squids are just one of the many strange and alien creatures that live down there. It is very hard to study animals that live in such deep, dark, and cold environments. Making things even tougher, giant squids are also what scientists call elusive, which means they are very good at avoiding humans. One of the best ways to learn about an animal is to study its behavior. By watching what an animal does and when and where it does it, scientists can start to piece together why the animal behaves in a certain way. However, with giant squids, this is very difficult because the deep ocean is their preferred habitat, and it is too deep for scientists to follow them around. Giant squids live throughout the world in places like floating around in the Gulf Stream off the eastern coast of the United States or in the North Atlantic off the shores of Great Britain. However, the giant squids that have been found and studied have always been in the Northern Hemisphere. We still do not know much about giant squids, and we have never seen more than one at a time. It is possible that the giant squids in the Southern Hemisphere have different behavior that make them even harder to find, but we need more chances to study them alive to find out for sure. 
So, choosing one to study in a laboratory is not an option, which makes it even harder to unlock their secrets. We can start to answer these questions by thinking about the key features of a giant squid's life. The deep ocean is the largest habitat on Earth, covering more space than any land habitats like the Amazon rainforest or the Sahara Desert. The water is always cold, just a few degrees above freezing, and it is so deep that sunlight cannot reach the bottom. This means that all of the animals that live in the deep ocean have to be able to survive in these difficult conditions, including giant squids. Every time a giant squid has been discovered, it has been a very special event for the scientists involved. By studying them, we can hope to learn more about the deep ocean and its strange alien ecology as well. All of the pieces are coming together slowly, and with advances in technology, such as the cameras and submersibles used to take the first pictures of a giant squid in the wild. There is hope that one day we might be able to study these elusive creatures in their natural environment. Reproduction and Life Cycle The life of the giant squid was even more of a mystery when they had little to no information about the creature's reproductive cycle. But now, due to the random event of a giant squid taking up refuge in a marina and laying eggs before dying, Scientists have been able to study the life cycle of this mysterious species. Sudden sperm packets are found within the arms of males that have been found compared to other squid species that store sperm in the funnel. This suggests a difference in reproductive strategies. The eggs appear to be laid in groups and were found in large clusters stuck to the rock wall. Many were not viable, but they started to open and develop in others. The death of the giant squid mother happened very soon and would have laid torture to breath. It's likely that she died straight after. Sharks were found to be the cause of her death. However, no threats from other species throughout her life were found on her body. This gave the one-time chance to study the life history of the giant squid that is now displayed in the London Natural Museum. The overall findings of cloning and DNA analysis discovered no genetic variability. This could suggest that giant squids are not frequently interbreeding and that the population size of the species is very low. This fascinating discovery provides answers that resolve a major scientific unknown and hence open more doors to the research of this amazing creature. It is evident that the story a mother squid found on the shores of Cantabrio will provide discussions for years to come. The uncovering of its life cycles and many other questions will soon be revealing their secrets. And this means that we have a more detailed understanding of the life of the largest invertebrate in the world, the giant squid. The giant squid is truly an extraordinary creature, and scientists have only just begun to unravel the secrets of its biology. For example, the discovery that the eyes of the giant squid are the largest in the animal kingdom has sparked new research into how and what the giant squid sees in the light. Limited depths it is found in. Reflecting on the insane biology of the giant squid, we can see that each and every bit of the giant squid's body and all of its abilities is extraordinary and is perfectly designed for the environment that it lives in. Although the idea of large and possibly dangerous squid has been passed down through folklore and myth for centuries, the existence of the giant squid and especially its biology continues to elude and amaze modern marine biologists. There are still many more questions yet to be answered and so many more secrets yet to be discovered but one thing that we know for sure is that the giant squid is a complex and beautifully designed marvel of sea life. I am sure that all of the new discoveries and all of the new things that are yet to be found out about the giant squid in the future will be just as interesting as the things that we know about the giant squid today.